Get ready for the Joy Center's new podcast, Parental Guidance. This podcast turns a pastor preaching a traditional sermon in church into a father having a heart-to-heart with you at home. You now have the opportunity to receive wise advice about current events and every area of your life. Get ready for the Joy Center's new podcast, Parental Guidance. Praise God. So what are you all doing? What what are you happy with? What what is God doing with you about, brother? Um Kingdom being kingdom minded. I think that's uh that's where I'm at. Um it's funny, we were just in prayer right now. Um and before we went into prayer, we were just talking. Uh we were actually talking to Pastor Bennett earlier this morning. Mm. We were just talking about how in the areas that we are gifted in and in the areas that we are in ministry, we have to take ownership of those areas. Oh, yeah. You know, it has to be, it, it's a kingdom mindset. It's, this is my job. I'm going to do it diligently. Mm-hmm. But uh, I leave room for Holy Spirit and for Bishop and for them to make corrections and for them to, to, um, to delegate. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, just being kingdom minded and being focused on, um, the vision for the house and, and making sure that it comes to pass, making sure that I do my part to make sure that it comes to pass. Yeah. Kingdom minded has everything to do with a heart adjustment, too. Uh, you can get so busy trying to do something for Christ that you forget why you're doing it for him. So it's the heart that has to change. Uh, yeah. Kingdom heart, a kingdom mindedness, and having a kingdom heart, knowing and understanding uh, what we are designed to do by God, and it's finding that place where you know what you're designed to do, and it's not in terms of question. Can you hand me some tissue over there? Yes, sir. Oh, you can have just three box over here. Let me uh, just in case. Any of y'all get emotional? Kingdom mindedness uh, is being concerned about the things of God. Yes, sir. Being concerned about His business, uh, like Jesus said, my business or or my 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 desire is to do what my Father. Uh, that's what I'm here to do. All of us are here to do that. Unfortunately, we don't have the heart to do it. Mm-hmm. We have the mindset, but when we have the heart, it changes the direction of how we're doing it. So we're doing it basically to get some kind of uh, either recognition or we're driven by our own agendas, and it's not, it seems to be kingdom. When it when we're doing it like that, you know, mm-hmm. you know. Yes, so what what are you what are you hearing? What what is God saying to you about some things? No, actually, um, I just wanted to piggyback off of something you just said because you said which is a term I've never heard. I've heard kingdom minded, but I never heard of having a kingdom heart. Right, right. Because that changes the game. Um, because it's the difference between. The term that we hear in churchy realm, you know, mm-hmm. hey, we're going to do it with a spirit of excellence. Mm-hmm. But that's really in the Bible, it's, it's called an excellent spirit because you can do a spirit of excellence where everything on the outside and external looks good. Mm-hmm. But when you have an excellent spirit, the outside is going to look good because it's coming from a, a, a good inside. It's right. like where the Bible wanted to talk about Daniel. That when they tried to bring an allegation against him, they tried to look at his work. Mm-hmm. They couldn't see any error in his work because there was no error in him because he had an excellent spirit. And uh, so I've never heard the, that term before. I've heard kingdom minded, kingdom minded. Right. But the term that to say to have a kingdom heart where, where, uh, where your desire is for the kingdom of God, mm-hmm. where it becomes really the why for what you're doing. Um, yep. To me, I think that's a game changer because a lot of times when it becomes, I think one of the things I was I was telling myself when I, when I was driving in, I've been telling myself a lot lately. Um, <laughs> I talk to myself, you know, because, uh, um, but, but even talking to myself, like I was telling Bishop that I, I've changed things like saying things like, I'm over this. No, I'm responsible oh, for right. this. 
uh, because then I realized that I have to give an account for it, uh, things of that nature. And then this morning I started thinking about how God doesn't owe me anything. Nobody owes me anything. They don't owe me honor. They don't owe me respect. Mm -hmm. They don't owe me an attaboy. They owe me nothing, right. you know. And when I understand that, I don't do it for an attaboy. I don't do it for, Absolutely. you know, this person to, uh, to, to say, hey, I just do it for what this is what I'm assigned to do. This is what I'm called to do. And... Cause if I get, cause if I get my, you don't want to get your well done too soon. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know you get your well done too. Yeah, on my own merit. Yeah, you know you'd yeah, be like I well done, thinking on what you think that you did well. You it was well done. But um, but if I live for the validation of other people, then nothing that I do can be trusted, and nothing that I do will be authentic because mm -hmm. I'm doing it for somebody's validation. Yeah, that that is the thing. Uh... Your heart is, is what drives why you do certain yes, things. You can have a, a good mind to do something for God, but the heart determines yes, why you're doing it. Yes, sir. And that's why we have a degree of success yes, sir. in certain areas of our lives. Yes, sir. Because we can be doing a good thing, but it's not the right thing for us. Mm -hmm. You know, just because you are called to say, Ministry doesn't right. mean that you're ministering for God. Sir, yes, sir. You know, so you have a whole different agenda. You're preaching, but your preaching is for notoriety, mm -hmm. acceptability. All of those things come into play for why. You want recognition. And so with that, it drives the, uh, the, the motive totally away from God. So yes, sir. is God honoring that? Absolutely not. Yes, so sir. you can preach all you want. You can, though you give, here, here's a perfect yeah, example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though you give all your money yes, to sir. the poor, to yes, me, sir. Yes, sir. it's a notab notable thing to do. It's no Right, right. But the heart is what drives the why. Right. And yes, that's sir. why is important. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, hearing God and knowing what it is. And this is where the challenging part is because mm -hmm. we all want eventually to be accepted. Yes, sir. And uh, some of the things that I believe that people have issues with is low self-esteem. All right, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I'm with you. What do you all sir. think? Um, absolutely. I think that especially for the younger generation, my generation, um, I'm only 30 years old, so... You say only. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm only 30 years old. But that's old to the 20-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> Until you get here. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but it's just, it's self-esteem, it shapes us as, as kids, mm -hmm. our esteem of ourselves. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. I'm only seeing it now that I've sat under wisdom for a while that everything that I do, every step that I take, the way that I process new information and everything else is all based off of what I believe about myself and yeah. what I believe that I can achieve. Yeah. Um, and those all come from some type of, whether it be trauma or whether it be whatever it is, it mm -hmm. always comes, it's always stemming from something like that. Mm -hmm. And if, if unchecked, what you accomplish in life will never be what God had for you. Yeah, and you'll yeah. never be satisfied. Never. never. You'll never find contentment. Yeah. No matter how much you get, no matter yeah. where you go, yes, how much you achieve, you will never find contentment. Yes, sir. And that's what Paul said, that we find contentment. God, uh, contentment. Therefore, to be content. And whatever, whatever, yes, sir. That whatever is or whatever, uh, you find yourself to do it wherever you, you are at at that particular time. Because if I surrender everything to God, where I am will be where he wants me to be at that time. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So every move and every step that I take, like you were mentioning, like Bobby Brown, <laughs> every little step I take, like Jesus, the Holy Spirit gave him his agenda and his schedule. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, was it written out? Of course no, not. Sir. I'm gonna tell you where it's written on the canvas yes, of your heart. Yes, sir. sir. That's yes, the way sir. it is, and this is why. This is what. This is a prayer I pray uh, in the morning. God, give me this day what it is that I'm supposed to do that helps to lead to the fulfillment of my purpose. 
That's yes, how I pray in the morning. Yes, That's the one thing because every day I'm living, I have to do something that adds to the agenda for yes, which sir. the Holy Spirit has given my life. Yes, totally. Sir. That's powerful. Yes, it's, it's, it's odd, odd to, to think, think like that when you are not accustomed to, but that is my pr my prayer usually every su every morning, not Sunday morning, but every morning. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. I think yeah. that's amazing, amazing because, because you said it when you, and I found this out personally, like, you know, when you start discovering who you are, you know, who, who God originally made me to be, then you stop reaching. Because mm. yeah. that's why Eve was reaching. She was reaching because mm -hmm. she had no real idea of who she is. He mm -hmm. says, hey, you know, hey, you could be like God, but you're already like God, so you keep trying to reach right. for something else. Because you're still trying to gain value from something, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, I think for me it took a, and I'm still going through the process. I, I feel like I I don't got it yet. I haven't like mastered it yet. But but in some areas I've kind of learned to okay, all right, I don't have to reach. I just be who God has called me mm -hmm. to be, and, uh, and that's something that the Spirit of the Lord was uh, dealing with me like about a couple of years ago. That hey, just trust God. He'll get you there on time and on target. Mm. Like on time and on target, where I don't have to like try to make my own way right try to, exactly you know, try to you know because you can make your way or push yourself too soon or yeah so you can just and then it botches everything and you mm -hmm. miss like you said you like you miss where god wants you to be mm -hmm. and uh and you could there's so many things that can uh be forfeited in the process and you've said it so many times sir you don't even know how much has been forfeited mm -hmm. you know so to me i just i just all right god you you know where i am you you knew the conduct uh, the the uh, the environment the Absolutely. everything in which I was supposed to work and do what I'm supposed to do mm. so just help me do what I'm supposed to do and and I'll get where you want me to be on time and on target if I listen right. you know um, but every time I miss every time I don't listen I miss a step so if I just kind of okay God time on time on target you'll get me where I need to be you no know, I I I, uh, I think. Not think, but this is what I believe, that we ultimately are to get to the place where we have a healthy God esteem. Sir, yes, sir. Because every time we use the word I, we are yes, referring sir. to yes, sir. ourselves. Yes, sir. Whenever God uses the word I, he's referring to the I in you. Mm. Every time the devil uses the word I, he's referring to the... <laughs> The yeah, devil sir. that yeah, lives yeah, in you. Yeah, wow. yeah. And this is where you start to think that you're thinking it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Because he right, always sir. speaks in the yes, self. Sir. Right. Yes, sir. So he is the first person. Yes, sir. Wow. Don't we talk yeah, like that? Yes, sir. We talk in reference to the first yes, person. God does that with us. Yes, sir. And the devil does it with us. Yes, sir. But we're the only ones that don't do it because we don't know which who is in charge. Oh, is wow. it the God I or it is the slave I? Mm -hmm. that's ran by, by Satan. So the motivation that we ought to have is to have a healthy God esteem. Yes, sir, yes, sir. It is like Jesus, Emmanuel, God in yeah. dust. Yes, sir. Here's the, the amazing thing. It's really God in Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's the Christ in Jesus. Yes, it was the Spirit of God in the person of Jesus. Yes, Jesus sir. did not exist physically. Yes, sir. Jesus is the body. The, the body is that man, yes, sir. Yes, sir. right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So everything we have done in our lifetime, we have been trained and programmed to do it with a selfish motive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that selfish motive is not a God motive, yes, sir. Yes, sir. right? Yes, sir. So yes, think yes, of turning and changing everything from uh, like a healthy God esteem than a healthy self esteem. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. We start off like that mm -hmm. and we look at building it, but why do we do everything we do? Think. Why do you do everything? Why do you think you do everything you do? Mm. Any of you want to. Why do you think you do? Why do you work so hard? Why do you uh, uh, struggle? If you struggle with your looks, your appearance, why, why, what is the reason why you do it? That's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> that's a, that's a good question.
Why do we go after success? Why are we trying to be successful? Are we not already? Yeah, it's the programming, sir. That's it's, right. it's all of our pre-programming. Um, because everything is flipped, though. In this culture, everything is flipped. And so that's why I, I personally stop criticizing the disciples for all, of the, <laughs> for all of the missteps. Because if I was there, it would be like, oh, Charles says something else dumb. Yeah. Oh, Charles spazzed out. <laughs> I, would, I, I would because yeah, right. their whole world is being flipped. Yeah, Everything that they knew to be true is now different. Mm. That's why even when Peter was like, when, when, when Peter, Peter said, no, Lord, I'll, I'll, I've never eaten anything unclean. And then God says... Don't call anything that's that I right. made unclean. You're like, but you've been but trained. I've been trained, and I've been programmed that way, and I, and it's the same way. Like over the years, yeah. you start finding out I, I've been programmed incorrectly. So you go through the spazzing out moment because you're trying to re, you get, you accept the the not the new reality, mm. the actual reality. Yeah, because is. when we're because when we're born again. Right. We're at what we're living is the counterfeit outside of Christ. We're living, we're living the counterfeit, and then you get born again. You find out like this was actually how it was supposed to be, and so my I'm glitching mentally, you know, like a computer. You know, you're glitching because you're trying to like get your recode it. You remember you talking about that? I'm trying yeah, yeah. to get my code to read to like I'm hearing a word or you're sharing something and my coding, I'm trying to get my recoding and then reboot so it can <laughs> so it can function. And uh, and I think that's it. So we kinda it's just been been trained in lies for so long and what yep. we think is real is actually a facade. Mm -hmm. And and then when you've lived in the facade so long, when you encounter the real your question if the real was actually real. And so that's 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 just my mind. Yep. <laughs> so what, what what about you? What would you um, I would agree wholeheartedly, um, especially in this westernized culture, especially in the culture of my youth. Mm -hmm. um, this whole woke generation and everything else was a doozy for everybody. But <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that um for my generation, we find a little truth, right, and we try to run with it like that's, and we don't understand the deeper truth. We don't right. understand the truth, right. And um, and then there's the whole my truth, right. As if you can have one. Very, very true. Yeah, <laughs> as, as if you can have your version yes, of the truth. As, yes. if there, as if there, as if there is such thing. It's a lie. Yes. So, um, yeah, being programmed in that way. And then finally realizing what the truth is, yeah. and then working backwards and just okay, that's not right. I gotta hold on. Wait, what the words say? Okay, so that's not right either. Let me go. And yeah, and it's a it's a it's a constant thing. And I don't think we ever really arrive at a point where I know it all now. No, no, no. 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 The yeah, moment that all. you start thinking like that is the moment you go off the rails. Yeah, right. Absolutely. And so just making sure that you're constantly, if the word is the baseline, then. Okay, what did the word say? Okay, then that, that can't be a true then. What did the word say? I'm more than a conqueror? Okay, then, so then this situation can't be what it's made out to be then. Right, right. And so, yeah, things in that situation. Think about what you're saying, too. Uh, it's the way you're thinking is laborious. It yeah. is. It really is. You know, yeah. you will never, ever, you're constantly trying to do it on your yeah. own yeah. instead of just organically, like, is a plant trying to grow? You know, what, is a tree trying to be a tree? Uh, what hinders us? And this is why uh, you re remember the story where Jesus asked the disciples, who do men say that I am? Right? Yes, sir. And, and they answered. What was the answer? Uh, some say, uh, some you're, say you're Elijah, some say yeah, you're a prophet. You're prophet. Yeah. Right. So they're giving him their rhetoric of what they've heard. Sir, yes, sir. Now, I'm going to ask you one more time. Then he said, who do you say that I am? Mm -hmm. Now, no one could speak other than Peter, yes, sir. who spoke by... Revelations from God. Yes, okay, sir. directly from God, sir, because yes, Jesus said... Flesh and blood did not receive, uh, reveal that to you, but my father. Here's the amazing thing is, 
why did he say, what do you think? And first ask the question, what do men say? You want to know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to know? That's, yeah, it, we look at it from one perspective. Mm -hmm. He's, I believe he's testing not for him to know, because he yes, knows. Sir. Yes, sir. How much of what you think about me it, is gathered from information you you got from about me? Wow. Mm, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. How much does what you hear affect your thinking about me? Mm. Yes, sir. Wow. Because they all obviously heard others talk. Yes, sir. Well, let's put it this way. How does man affect what you think about you? Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because everything you're doing is because of what you've heard. So, yes, sir. Why you should work, mm -hmm. why you should work hard, yes, why sir. you should have a success, why you should drive a certain car, why you should have a certain house, why you should get an education, why you... Everything is based on acceptability. That means you have a low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, sir. Because what you're doing is motivated by what others think about you. And as a result of that, their thinking about you affects how you think about God. Wow. And then if you think a certain way about God, that's how you think about yourself. Yes, sir. If you don't have faith in God, you don't have faith in God in you. Mm -hmm. If God can't do all things, neither can you. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. Right. You only live your life based on your, your ability in Christ. You are only what you are through Christ. If it's not through him, you are only what you are through Satan. Mm -hmm. So yes, sir. I yes, is sir. it any great areas? No, sir. Any no, neutral sir. areas? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. No neutral no. area. Mm -hmm. So you cannot independently yes, sir. say, I'm going to I'm not gonna allow the Satan Satan to affect me and I'm right. not gonna let God. It's, it's impossible. impossible. It's impossible. Yes, sir. yes, sir. If it's not if it's not light. Or yes. Darkness is automatic. So, yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. So this is why, imagine why people are striving to get everything that they have, that they want, only because they want others to see them differently. Right. Yes, sir. Where is that motivation coming from? Why do we do things? What's driving us? Why can't we just all get along. <laughs> Why can't we get along with ourselves? Sir, yes, Why sir. can't we be content yes, sir. with who we are based yes, on what God says, yes, not what others say? Yes, so beauty is based on the magazines. Yes, sir. Uh, if you're handsome, it's based on the magazines. Yes, sir. It's based on television. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The, the styles, the way, we, the way you wear your hair, the way... So you want acceptability and you don't realize how much your self-esteem is affected by what others think about you. I guarantee you, from you stumbling over your words uh, to you doing, you, get, you just got to see, okay, if, if God uh, has faith in you, you ought to have faith in God. If God is in you, not a, a God is in right, you, right, right, if right. God is residing, you're the address of God, right? Yes, sir. Then, therefore, everything you do is based on him. Your eye is him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, this is yes, how sir. Satan wants us to think that we have different motivations. This is why Paul said, think on these things. Whatsoever is true, yes, sir. whatsoever is of good report, yes, sir. whatsoever, pure, you know, yes, pure. Yes, he goes through a line of things that yes, doesn't sir. just say that, but right. the parameters of everything right. those things represent. Yes, yes sir. sir. So the life we live, we're still struggling with that because we don't believe in who God made us. Yes, we sir. are not to have faith in ourselves, right? right. Who do we have faith in? in God. God. And where is God? Yes, he is, he is, I am the address. Mm -hmm. He is Christ 
in me, the yes. hope of glory, yes, right? Mm -hmm. He is everything I need, everything I am. Paul said, the life I now I live, live in, in the, the flesh, flesh. Yes, I live by the faith yes, sir. and the Son of God who died, loved me, and died and gave himself for me. So everything is... When I say I, it's the God in me that I'm talking to the, my Heavenly Father mm -hmm. yes, that sir. gave me the ability to exist. I exist because he exists. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is no other way I'm ex existing. Yes, so when God said, light be, he never spoke to become. Yes, sir. Right? Never. Because nothing he says has to become. <laughs> Nothing. Yes, sir. Becoming is what you and I do yes, sir. on one end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. He created, a, I was sharing in Phoenix, I said, remember, God didn't create you, the spirit. You came from God. Yes, right. He created your flesh. He formed and fashioned your flesh from what? The dust. The dust. What he already created. Yes, sir. So he's teaching us everything that God did after creation is to teach us now why you do things with your hands, with yes, your sir. with your mouth, and speak. Everything is by example. Yes, sir. That's why I, I often say Jesus did not come to show us what we could do. He could do. He came to show us what we could do. Yes, and greater works shall you do. Everything that he said, Jesus said, everything I do is because of my Father. The words I say to you is because my Father gives me these words. This is why... I know for certain that Jesus would not get caught up in the so, in social media. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He has nothing to prove. Yes, sir. Nothing. See, Satan, as long as he's got something in you. Yes, sir. That little bit of vanity, he can just take his time. Yes, sir. And he'll come. He may not get you and defeat you at that moment like he did yes, with sir. Jesus. But the right. Bible says he left him for a, a more opportune yeah. time, yes, right? Yes, the sir. most opportune time was in the garden yes, because sir. that's when he was at his weakest again. Yes, sir. You know, and he came. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> he came. Almost got him. Yes. <laughs> and when I say almost got him, yes, went to sir. the point where he was saying, God, if it's your will, yes, sir. let this come. Knowing the will of the Father. Yes, sir, that's powerful, sir. But, yes, sir. but here's the reality. Everything Jesus did, he's doing it in the flesh for the first time. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. Everything. I mean... Don't forget, he is the creator of all things. Yes, yes, sir. But ex experientially, he Experience. didn't experience it. Yes, sir. He yes, did sir. not. Yes, sir. He, know, he knew all things, yes, but sir. he had to grow. Yes, sir. This is wax what it is to grow. Yes, wax yes, is growing wisdom. Yes, and, and, oh, the word is powerful. <laughs> and he realized, this is what I am in the flesh. You know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you imagine? Yes, sir. That's crazy. Uh, He's experiencing himself in a unique way. And I believe this is why the Bible doesn't give us a full synopsis of Christ from the time he was born right, yes, sir. Yes, sir. until the time he he's actually revealed at the age of 30. Yes, sir. It's that period of growth. Yes, sir. It's the period of experiencing and dominating that experience, allowing your life to not be shaped by the experience. Yes, sir. Because he couldn't. Because if he was shaped one iota yes, sir. from an experience, he will cease to be who he is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's we can't awesome. be shaped by our experience. You hear me say, yeah. you can't live your life based on your experiences. Yeah. You can't say, well, I grew up, this is the way I am. No, you want to be born again. Yes, sir. That means he's going to recode you, put you back to your original, not on the outside, right. on the yes, inside. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, then you have to learn how to live your life from the inside out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like I was saying to you earlier, and the laborious part is you're putting all the effort in. Yes, sir. The easiest part, you just believe. That's what's hard for people to do. Yes, sir. They just won't believe. Yes, sir. And like you said, you asked, 
So, uh, how do you hear God? And you said, I said, well, how do you hear God? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but but, I, but I, I strongly believe that Jesus was giving them a gauge of how uh, human experiences and what people say can shape how you think about him Mm-hmm. What you think about yourself yes, and what sir. you think about others. Yes, yes sir. Because mm-hmm. you know this will have no value until somebody says, hey, look, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll right. for this table, right. I'll pay right. a right. million dollars for this. And you're right. like, man, this is just a table. Right. Right. Then all of a sudden it has value. Yes, if you pay a million, nah, I'll sell it for a million too. And you know you wouldn't sell this thing for five cents. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, wow. That's, that's amazing, amazing sir. sir. But I guess that's our experience too, though. Mm. Like just like Jesus, like those years where Jesus was growing and and uh and coming into the an absolute knowledge of who he is. Um the same way when we get born again, we're like, oh, Oh my God! I could do this, you know. Like, right. oh, you know, you're getting, right. you know, you you see yourself, you, you're learning and like kind of working out what's in you. Start working out, working this way outside of you, and so that's that's amazing. That's that's Think amazing. Of it. Jesus that's amazing, is one hundred percent man. Yes, sir. Yet one hundred percent God. Yes, sir. And if you are one hundred percent man. You have to go through the process. That's yes. why he was born. Yes. And he had to grow physically. Don't tell me we were never recording. We were never. No, we could. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's mine. But he was actual. Don't forget, he's he's a little baby. He's got to go through the process. Yes. How do we know? Because he was a baby. He was an embryo. <laughs> he was a he he was a baby. He came out of his mother. He had to grow. Age one, age two, age three. He had to go through those stages. Man. He had to be taught in their synagogues. He yes, had to learn certain things. It wasn't like just because he knew everything, he just came. As a total man. Right, right, yes, sir. Yeah, he was total man in, in, in terms, terms of 100. 100. Yes, sir. That makes you have to grow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If not, he could not be a great example for us. Yes, sir. You know, so right. like we, we get born again, right? Yes, sir. Everything changes when you're born again. You're born again from above. Yes, sir. So the seed of God is now reinserted and you are in the flesh. Yes. Now you got to start growing. Yes, sir. And you got to align this flesh with what you know 100% on the inside, yes, sir. which is God. Man. Man. <laughs> is that not amazing? It That's is. Uh, it is. Yes, <laughs> 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 yeah, I, 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 I love God, man. And, uh, you know, that's just what we get. With, with the more we learn and sit back and just hear God, and we're not questioning Him, we're just asking. Uh, you know, we want to know, just like the disciples. But I learned that the disciples had one problem in learning; they didn't quickly believe. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Because that's what He told them. They, they asked Him. They said, "What must we do in order to do, do the, works the works that you do?" And he said. Ah, believe on him and who That's God sent. Like, what? <laughs> you know, because you, know, you babe, that you know in your mind you want like some other. Right, okay, step Damn. one, babe, right, step right, two, right. step three, and then in step five you are right, right, there. Yeah. And he just says, believe, believe on him and whom God sent. Like. <laughs> That's, That's it? it. <laughs> yes. Because yeah, you know. your hardest issue is going to yeah. be to trust the, the person that he sent. Yes, sir. Your eyes see a physical man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Your eyes can't identify with the spiritual God, yes, the 100% God that's in him. So you got to swallow a lot of stuff, man. Yes, yeah, sir. seriously. Yes, sir. <laughs>
That's why we die. That's why we yeah. die. And how often do we die? Daily. Daily, so that we can be resurrected every single day. Because this flesh has a tendency. No, sir. Oh, yeah. This flesh said, oh, you thought I was gone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they say, I'm coming so back bad. at the most opportune time, and yeah. that's in the morning. <laughs> I think that's amazing because you do, you think, like, uh, it's, just, it's just realizing that that's just the process. Because it's, it's like the movie I always talk about, sir, where, where the guy says, you know, vanity. Definitely my my great my favorite sin because you because sometimes you can get you you don't even know you got prideful about your humility yes sir <laughs> and it's pride that, or, you know and, and he's like I got him yep. you know so it's something that you said because no wonder Jesus can make the statement like uh, the enemy's coming but he has nothing in me and I was I read that and I was like God I, I can't accurately say that. Because there is still little stuff that's in me that I know for I know for certain that's in me that God, you got to help me so that I can get those those triggers, those little things that that he that's been placed in me and start right. snatching those things out so that when he wants to you know pull me back, they're not they're no longer there, they're no longer latched on me, or they uh, don't have the ability to hold oh, you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because this, don't forget, this flesh, flesh will never be saved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if the flesh is never saved, you you got to know that's what you're dying to every yes, single day. Yes, every morning you get up, that's what you're dying to, this, to this flesh. So Jesus said, the flesh profited nothing. nothing. Yes, sir. Nothing. How hard is it <laughs> when you're thinking... Well, 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 what what's the purpose of me having a body? Well, that's where you got it all wrong. Yes, sir. Our purpose for having a body is to be effective on this earth and to live on earth. This body is only for the earth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's all it's for. You yes, can't sir. take it to heaven, yes, right? <laughs> you like, God, um, uh, can I keep my body? <laughs> You're in love with that flesh that much yeah. that you want to take your body wow. to heaven? You might yeah. not get there. God like says, that. you're going to hell. Yeah, because you, you, you can't get there. You're yeah. not sure right there. Yes, sir. Wow. God. You can't have it there either. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no. You can't have it there either, man. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll get them. Yeah, when we look at things, especially how we're supposed to live, don't forget, I've shared this so many times. There are things you cannot say because people will not believe you. And conservative, conservative Christianity is it's like a, 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 a religious divide. That's sure, what yes, it sir. is. That's what happens in the body of Christ. Yes, sir. Outside the body of Christ, it's a religious divide divide. Yes, sir. So you have all of these religions and all of them believing certain things. And then what makes it so worse is that the people in those sects don't believe the same thing anyway. Yes, yes sir. sir. They don't believe the same thing. So they're all wrestling with stuff. Yes, and they're sir. all saying, well, we're part of one one Baptist group and you don't believe what that Baptist yeah, believes sir, anyway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, there's such a human way of thinking that robs us of the spirituality in which God wants us to live and govern our lives. So that takes me to the next step uh, in terms of praying and asking God, show, asking God, God, how come you never had to deal with a need? Yes, sir. Other than when he was hungry and, and he, he went and found food and when yeah. there was, wasn't any fruit on the tree, he cursed, he cursed the tree, <laughs> you know, because it wasn't producing. And I don't think he did it to show us what he could do. He was showing us what we could do. That's why he waited for Peter to respond. He would yes, never have said right. anything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He wanted them to respond. Yes, sir. And that's why he didn't say anything. And when Peter said, Lord, wait, hey, hey, the tree, you curse, it's all of a sudden withered from the yeah. ground, from its roots. Oh, yes, sir. How is this? How did it happen? 
And what did Jesus, how did he respond? It always dealt with faith. Yep, absolutely. So how can I get you to see how you're supposed to walk if I got to drive you in that direction? Mm. So he waited for their response. Mm. So what you should do every day, God, show me how to, how, what did Jesus do? How did, and just believe. I don't care how simple it is. And I don't care if you just hear the first thought in your heart, in your mind, mm -hmm. you can say that's God. Mm. Honestly. Yes, sir. God speaks to you immediately. Yes, sir. It's after his voice. Yes, oh, that contemplation, oh, yes, sir. that's you, yes, sir. Yes, sir. and that's, that's that enemy talking yes, to you. Yes, but God speaks the first time. Wow. He's the first one. He's not going to be the last one. I just don't believe that wow. God is a, a, he's the first fruit God. That is powerful. He's the first. Yes, you earnestly ask him something, he's the first to respond. That is powerful. You know what, sir? That's Everything Eve true. got, it was God first. The second voice, Satan. That's absolutely true, sir. <laughs> no, that's like true in my own personal life. Yes, like sir. when I've asked questions sincere, mm -hmm. and it was like I felt like like a little kid. Like God, why do we? It, I get an answer. Like, it, but it's when I when I'm trying to be deep. Like, you know, like you know, you're trying to like God. Like what? Like <laughs> it, it's all the other stuff I just contemplated, mm -hmm. and uh, that's a that's a. That's amazing, sir. Or even just in, in asking God for clarification or something. And when he gives you an answer, then I go through a whole justification yeah, process. Yeah, that was right. Right. Just, okay, but what, then, what you really mean was, and you just mess up the whole doggone thing. You, you just, and you miss out on the pureness of wow. God's voice. Uh, I can tell you God answers my answers me the first time. Yes, when sir. I'm sincere and I'm not inquisitive, I'm not asking like I'm just trying to find out information. Right, 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 right. I sincerely want to know how Christ lived on the earth. Because when you've lived in poverty, and I'm not talking about where we are, we're dirt poor. We've never been dirt poor. Right, yes, right, right. And most people in this nation has never, never been yes, dirt sir. poor. Right. Go to these other countries and, 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 and see what how these people live on the streets. Uh, <laughs> our bombs live on the street, but they're eating. Yes, you know? yes, and most of them are on the streets because they choice. choose to yes, be. Yes, but we have never really been there. So you want to know then how did God, how did Jesus do everything? We already know he says everything I do is because my father tells me. So that's your initial voice. Whenever he's communing with the Father, you don't see a lot of intimate prayer between him and the Father, do you? Mm -hmm. He's not going to share that with us. Mm. That's powerful. <laughs> You're supposed to have your own closet. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Every single one of us. Yes, sir. So I shouldn't be able to hear your intimate prayers. Mm -hmm. uh, I can guarantee you this, that Peter, James, and John saw transfiguration. They didn't hear the full conversation. Yes, sir. Yes, I can sir. guarantee you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, was, it was powerful to hear some of what they did pick up. Yes, sir. And, and then remember, all of a sudden, they hear the last voice, God speaks, and he speaks to them. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, this is my beloved son. Yes, sir. Hear yeah. him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what do they do? We're gonna make three. <laughs> yeah. like, we're gonna make three temples. One for you, be like, yeah. like this guy. I, that's why Jesus was like, didn't he just say him? Sir, that's how I can tell you, here's another thing. Y'all know this. I've said it so many times. What hurts, not hurts me, but what uh brings me to a point of of uh uh, dissatisfaction uh, uh, is when people don't buy into the fact that you should hear whatever your pastor is saying. And they still listen to everybody else. They mm -hmm. just cannot, and I'm saying cannot for them, not me. Right, 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 right. They cannot n not listen to somebody else. Because they'll be like, are you telling me you're the... Let that person bring that leader bring in someone that could help mm -hmm. remember 
if God gives us pastors after his own heart, he is, and he points out so many, don't, don't listen to them. And don't, 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 no, don't, don't, no, don't be like the scribes and Pharisees. He pointed out too, like, that. All the time. Yes. And here we are, but, but they're, but they're, they're, that's our rabbi, right. We're to, to listen. Right. Yeah, that's why it's so much confusion because they're trying to identify the same thing people are doing when Jesus was alive. Yes, when Jesus said, hey, uh, except you eat of my body and drink of my blood, you have no yes, part of me. Everyone knows you don't do that. Yes, right. That's against the law. You don't drink somebody's blood. The life is in the blood. Yes, sir. And then we eat your flesh. Yes, We're not cannibals. Yes, sir. You have been raised in this. He was really asking them to abandon that teaching. Mm. This is why it is such an issue today because I come along and say God gave me to be the pastor. I'm the pastor and 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 uh, here we are. We're struggling with the fact that, uh, well, I got this person down here in Dallas and I got this person in Miami and, and then, uh, oh, I, I have them on my cell phone and and, and like you were sharing last mm-hmm. night, and you become so confused because what you hear in one area mm-hmm. is not for you in this area, you yes, know, sir. and what you're dealing with in your marriage is not culturally. Yes, sir. Whites don't live culturally like black people. Sure, I'm yes, not sir. saying this in terms of racism. Right, right. Uh, same thing with Jews. Yes, sir. Our whole thought processes are different. Sir, how yes, sir. we deal with our wives and how our wives are. Some of our black women are extremely strong. <laughs> <laughs> and they justify it. Yes, <laughs> <You know? laughs> White women aren't always like that. Right, and, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I didn't say they weren't. I right. said not always. Right, yes, sir. And we do have a stereotypical way of looking at each other. Yes, sir. But part of it is true. Sir, yes, sir. Because culturally, yes, sir. I was raised with some strong black women. Don't forget, I told you my grandmother was shot six times. Six times and survived. You think she just got up and said, the next Negro that you, you know, <laughs> she never married after that because oh, it was, and my grandmother always carried a gun. Yes, sir. So it's not the same. So how do I deal with a woman like that if God says, oh, that's going to be your wife? <laughs> <laughs> So I'm saying, God, this woman is, oh, she's tough. <laughs> when she says, uh, you know, I'll see you when I'm ready. Yes, sir. That's You're like, problem. all right, I'll be there. With the, let me know, okay, call me. <laughs> I'll never forget when Deborah and I, <laughs> the first time, this is no joke. We, uh, I went to go see her. She was working at the hospital, as, uh, and she was o- over there, the nursing on that floor, the nurse, head nurse on, on the floor that night, that day. And we had a schedule to go to lunch. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and this is my first time, you know, I'm getting used. And I, this, this was my prayer. God, give me a wife, the kind of woman that is strong, that don't have to have me by her when you're calling me to do something, mm-hmm. but she will trust me when I'm doing it. And uh, he said, okay. <laughs> so Deborah, she's a captain. Up, I go up there. I remember getting off the elevator, and I'm here for Deborah, uh, a Captain Deborah Brown, no, Captain, Captain D- Dorsey. Yeah. And they said, oh, one moment, and Deborah comes around. Look, I got a lot to do right now. I've got a lot of, sk- I've got some issues. I will see you, I'll call you. And she just walked off. I said, okay, call me when you're ready. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't letting this woman punk me like this. <laughs> Stay in here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You, you like a kid. I said stand. <laughs> She's not like that, but it's, it was just comical because I had never had that in terms of 
I dominated be, mm -hmm. in my heyday. Mm -hmm. So I still had a lot of that stuff in me. And I was like, you just don't talk to me like that and <laughs> tell me to come back or you'll call me. <laughs> if she came to this door, she'll be like, uh, uh, Mike, are you ready? Yes. Uh, guys, I'll be back. I'll... <laughs> Stop the recording. <laughs> It's like I told my mouth my son, look, look, you whatever I tell you to do, I'm telling you to do that right now. You understand me? Don't tell your mother I said that. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm serious, but no, God is good. <laughs> How's your marriages? <laughs> How's yours? Uh, are you coming to the place now where you're learning that it's okay to let your wife have a voice? Um, yes, sir. Absolutely. Especially because she is... Not to let your wife have but, a voice, yes, sir. but you know. But especially because I'm under her when it comes to praise and worship. And I think that helped me a lot with... Well, really, you work with her. We, go ahead. Yes, sir. I work with her, but she has that... Um, that's her lane. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. in that way, I, I'm i there to serve whatever it is that she is. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So in that way, I definitely believe that um, her voice has much more value, especially in our relationship, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to our children, because... She's been doing this for a while. When I when we got married, she already had Braxton. Right, right. And so I had to be aware of the fact that, okay, there are certain things that I don't know that happened, that existed before I got here. Yes. And I can't come into this wanting to enforce myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wanting to enforce my dominance and everything. Because exactly. I'll mess around and ruin the relationship that I'm, that I'm producing with my daughter. Right. Yeah. And, um, and then with Jalen as well, because I don't know what it is to have a two-year-old, a three-year-old, yes. you know what I mean? And he's yes. been there before. And so in those areas especially, and um, spiritually as well, mm -hmm. um, because we do come from, that's, that's one of the beautiful things of coming from two different walks of life and coming together. Mm -hmm. um, because of our experiences are so different, it helps me with breaking down certain walls that I've built up or certain thought processes that I've had and uh, certain ways that I view life mm -hmm. and the decisions that I make and things like that, when I heed her counsel on certain things, I get to see a brand new outcome that I never foresaw coming because of my experience blinded me to certain things. Yeah. Um, and because I had, I had such tunnel vision that I yes. didn't take into account, you know what I mean, things that she might, and Absolutely. Certain, well, you know, that, and, and things that just her wisdom and her life experiences and just not uh, taking it for granted and um, really hearing her out and hearing what God is speaking to her. Mm. And especially when it comes to us uh, in our marriage and with the family and everything else. So just hearing what it is that she has to say, what it is that she has to say in her experiences mm. and her wisdom uh, that the Holy Spirit is sharing with her. Praise God. I, I was it for you. <laughs> <laughs> You mean overall, sir? Like, uh, yeah, I think, I'll be honest with you, I think, uh, I think we have a great marriage, marriage now. now. Like, like uh, um, it may have been, it may have been rough in the beginning, but I think we have a great marriage now. And I think a lot of it came from guidance. Um, things that, little things that you've said throughout the years. Um, and then uh, letting the Holy Spirit do what he needs to do in our hearts. <clears throat> Cause like I was saying the other the other day that if if you really I now I know maybe in my experiences I guess I, I I would I would I can only say that is that the more um, I developed a relationship with the Lord mm. the more it helped me to say like no no she can say something she's an adult like you know, Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely. she's not a child she can say something or in the same way you know. <laughs> Or to learn to be able to say something and not be contentious, mm -hmm. or you know, or um, or she can make her statement. I make my statement. It's over, and we just you know. So because it's not yeah. like every day we go through days where no, like I, I've said before, I can't remember the last time we had an argument like a real uh, right, argument. Right, right, right. It's been years, <clears throat> but I can tell you, I, I, we've had disagreements every day. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. But it's like 
When she said what she said, ah, I don't necessarily agree with that, and I'll say what I said. Exactly. Hey, you want to go eat? Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and it doesn't become this whole contentious moment. Mm-hmm. And so I've um, I've learned that throughout the years. And as you, like you said, as you start developing and become more comfortable with who I am, uh, knowing that it doesn't take anything from me, you know, and knowing that she has a right to think, <laughs> like you know, she has a, like exactly faculties. Right. They're mm-hmm. there to, to process information. God gave it to <laughs> right, you know. So she has a right to to uh, to have a thought. Um, you know, I'm not her. I'm not her God. I'm not her uh, controller. Right. I'm her husband. Yeah. I love you. I honor you. And part of honoring is, you know, well, what do you think, babe? You know, because because she can say mm-hmm. what she think, and I've known, and I've learned the same way, Drew. Like as she would, she would say something because she got different life experiences as well. She'll say something like, you know, what, babe, that's a good idea. But you know, one thing I love that she does. This is so good. I, she does. She's so crazy. <laughs> She'll do things like I'll say something that she said, and she be like, that's a good idea. I'll be like. <laughs> trying to trick me. Did you say that? Yeah, she's trying to jet out my trick me, man. But, she, but she'll be like, hmm, that's, that's, you know what, let's do that. I'll be like... Or you ask her something and uh, she'll give you her answer and yeah. you say... Yeah, you're wrong, but anyway, let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I and just wanted to know. If and, you... so, and that's how it is. Sometimes I'm like, ah, no, we're not, we're, nah, I'm not going to do that. That's you know? not what that verse says anyway, but yeah, good, good idea. And it's, and it's the same way, but, but none of us learn to not take everything like super Personally. personal. Every, you know, mm-hmm. like super personal um, every time. And so it's, uh, and it just gets, it gets, I think it just has gotten, you know, better. And I, I know my, uh, the, the things I know my parents never experienced this um, mm, mm. Uh, because they never stayed with anybody long enough. But, uh, right, <laughs> you know, right. and, uh, and I'm not judging them, I'm just saying they just right, never had exactly. that type of, uh, you know, and and, uh, and even though my wife's parents have been together, um, like, really, they got, like, to death do us part for real. Like, you know, they have been married since, I think since she was, like, 19, mm-hmm. and, uh, and then day he passed away. Um, but they had, a, they had a marriage, but it was just, it was like... We're existing, right? yeah, and so yeah. we actually have an opportunity to to live and. I think when you're be. satisfied with that, your heart is is gone. It has gone bad. Exactly. As a believer, when you're exactly. satisfied to just exist and yeah, say, right. "Well, we didn't get a divorce," right, um, right. You've already your heart is right. already yes, sir. gone bad. Yes, sir. You know. Uh, that's where, again, our motivation has to be from what God wants and not yes. what we want. You don't all of a sudden say, well, you know, I'm hood, and so I'm, I'm going to stand my ground. <laughs> this, is, this is not a war zone. Right, right. You know, this is a marriage, you right, know. Right. And some things, it's not a matter of what we do apart yes, in terms of our different thought processes right, yes, or sir. opinions. You like strawberry, you like chocolate, I like vanilla. Right. We can coexist because of that. Yes, but sir. not like if I have the headship, Right. you can say, well, this is what I think, I, you know, that's a good thought, but praise God, we're going to go this way. Let's sure, go. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. I'm the one responsible to God. That's yes, why yes, God sir. did not go to Eve when Eve and Adam sinned. He sure, went yes, to sir. Adam. You're sure, the responsible yes, one. Yes, yes, sir. You're the head. Yes, so it's okay. I don't mind you having an opinion. Everybody has a nose. But so Michael Jackson saw that <laughs> did, did some work on that one. But, you but, that one and now that we mention those, all of us are paying attention to each other's nose, right? <laughs> like, oh, that's what you some noses are big, some noses are small. You don't know. Yes, but, uh, <laughs> but as far as understanding each other's role. Sure, yes, sir. It's not where you're the supervisor. You're not the manager. Right. But you are the leader. And you are the teacher. And you are the head. If if Eve found and got all of her information from Adam, because that's the only way she could have gotten it. Yes, sir. Because God didn't talk to to the woman. Yes, Yes, sir. sir. Right? In essence, some things, remember, some of us are going to go through things. Yes, sir. Some of us, is by God's admission, only God is the determining factor. Yes, sir. All of the children of Israel, I mean, all of the disciples, 
they had to die a certain way. Yes, yes sir. sir. John didn't die, yes, sir. but he was boiled yes, sir. in and oil, oil yes, you sir. know. And just survived. I, I know. And survived. Yes, sir. That's I amazing. might have just wanted to go after that. Dude. Thank you. You know, <laughs> some of us are going to have to go through some stuff. We don't know who it is. <laughs> will it be you? Or will it be you? Or will it... But are we willing? Yeah. But some things that God just says, hey, don't put... Just because uh, uh, P- uh, uh, Peter wanted to be crucified, and that's only historically. Right, we right, don't right. have a biblical record right, of yes, him being crucified upside down. Yes, sir. You don't go and say... But, Lord, do I have to go that way? Don't forget that. <laughs> the disciples were funny when you think about sir, it. Sir, it's, it's funny. They're yes, responding. And it's, 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 they're responding because they don't know it all, and they yes, haven't sir. come to the point where they surrender it all. That's why when Jesus died, Peter said, I'm going back and fishing. Man, I need a job. Oh, you know, yes, hey, Jesus sustained us and kept us, but I got to look. I got to feed my family. Yes, <laughs> it was a... Uh, when Jesus said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, they was like, he mad because we ain't bring no bread. Yeah. <laughs> I just bet. These people went too yeah. and five little bread. I'm talking about food. He's, he's mad we didn't bring no bread. Like, this is hilarious, sir. That's funny. It is. So when you think of things, it's... People don't stay in their lane, and that creates... Friction. Yes, it sir. creates tremendous problems. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. so it creates division because you don't stay in your lane. You think you can come into my lane and tell me what to do <laughs> when I get an order by God. If if the prophet in the book of Kings had an order by God, why does another prophet need another prophet to tell him? Mm-hmm. Confusing. Sure, yes, sir. And this is where in that whole area as well, it just gets crazy. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't find you don't find Elijah telling other prophets, mm-hmm. do you? Mm-hmm. You don't see Gad talking to other prophets. Gad is a, a seer for David mm-hmm. and Israel, mm-hmm. and the, and and he's helping Israel. So uh, through David, mm-hmm. but. Like Paul said, I'm not an apostle at all. I, I, that's why God raises up an Apollos, and he raises up a Timothy that I reared and trained and ministered to, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. because I'm not that influence for everybody. The world is becoming much more vast, more humans on the planet, mm-hmm. so we have to have more of these that God designed to do certain things. I think the best place, I heard a woman say uh, on the, uh, I believe it was the on Facebook, mm. as I was going through some things and liking our stuff. <laughs> so I can try to get, I guess, the rhythm, whatever y'all call that, <laughs> the rhythm of the night kind of stuff. <laughs> the rhythm of the night, you know. <laughs> and, uh, she said something. She said, every woman needs a male leader. Or you cease to be in, in the office that God designed you to be in, mm-hmm. essentially. Mm-hmm. You got to have a male pastor to teach you. What is most churches full of when there's a woman pastor? And they'll say, well, most churches are filled with women. I, bear, I, I differ. You can find a lot of churches where men are dominant in, in those churches. Mm-hmm. But then again, it's seven, seven women to every man or eight women these days. So it's, it's far more women than there are men. Our men to keep dying in war. But we're going to see a change because women are going to be dying in war as well. Because they shouldn't be there in the first place. Yes, sir. But that's our uh, that's our nation. We're so weak. We say we need women to go out there and be just as dominant as men. That's not your nature. And what happens as a result of it? That spirit of dominance 
dominance start to control other females mm -hmm. and it weakens them even the more yes sir i think the stronger part of a of, of a woman is when she willfully submit to a man yes, sir. you're not making him your king right jesus is king of kings yes, sir. you're just submitting to the office that man is in when you marry him just like you're supposed to honor. You, you spoke of honor earlier. You can't make somebody honor you. No, sir. You're supposed to give honor. Sir, yes, sir. You don't go around saying, you're supposed to honor me. Yeah, no, no, sir. You give the honor. Yes, sir. Honor is, do you give honor to whom honor is yeah. due? Yes, sir. But you don't say, I want honor from you. Yes, sir. That's not my position to do that. Yes, sir. You don't, I don't, I'm not supposed to go around. I'm supposed to be great in your eyes. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. No, you are the one that determines it in your heart, determines it in your heart. Yes, sir. I'm your natural father. Say it from your natural father. I'm your natural father based on what God designed. I birthed you yes, when sir. you came from me and your mother. So you honor your mother and your father. So that's a principle and a law. It is God's command. It's not a suggestion, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Does that ever change? No. Sir. no. As long as now, if my mother decides she wants to be a man, do I honor her as my father? No. And that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Oh, glory to God. Father, we honor you and we thank you, Lord, for this tremendous time of us coming together. Thank you, God, for speaking to our hearts. And we're not leaving out of this thinking we've done something or said something wrong. We don't regret one single moment, nor are we apologetic about anything that we've shared because we believe it was based on your word, not our personal opinion. But we thank you and we love you. And for those that would have an opportunity to hear segments of this uh, podcast, let it bless them, even as it has blessed us. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you. Hallelujah.